Don't leave me hanging. It's go time. Hey everybody, this is Josh and I am ready to cast some StarCraft 2 for you guys. I've been away for the better part of the last two weeks doing some other stuff. But now I, uh, my schedule is open up again until Intel Extreme Masters two weeks from now. So I'm going to cast a whole best of three for you guys between Sock, the light blue Protoss down here in the bottom left of Zelnaga Caverns, and his opponent, Maus Strelok, the blue Terran up here in the top right. And Strelok, I believe, is Ukrainian. Sock himself being German. Sokka. Zokka is the German word for Sock. And I actually had the pleasure to share a few beers with this guy while he was in Raleigh for MLG very cool guy. I liked hanging out with him. Hopefully I'll get to see him in MLG DC. I'm going to Intel Extreme Masters in New York City and MLG DC is just the week after so that's going to be a lot of fun for me. Big old trip. I'll be making a lot of video blogs and things like that for you guys and gals to enjoy. I know you guys liked them last time so going to do that again for you but it's going to be a big long two week trip. Um, probably going to be mostly vlogs and not a lot of actual casts during that time because I'll be on the road with my laptop and my gym bag and that's pretty much it. So um, Here we have Sock just scouting around with his probe. Not going to see anything out of the ordinary because it is such an early scout. I guess he just wants to be annoying with it and um, try to get Straylock a little bit psychologically thrown off. But um, Sock is doing the very standard pylon gateway. Next will be an assimilator and then a cybernetics core. Or a pylon. Then a cybernetics core. We'll see. Assimilator goes down right on time. That refinery also going down right on time for Strelok. Very normal Terran build. So yeah, this probe and SCV are still fighting. Battling to the death. Sokka is going to want to keep that guy alive though, just to keep Strelok on his toes. And Strelok is chasing him around. I'm not sure what Sokka is doing. Maybe he wants to build a proxy pylon somewhere, but this SCV is not going to allow him to do such a thing. And right as that barracks finishes, the orbital command comes in and he builds a single marine to help ward off this probe. Always a nice move. He's finally sending his own SCV down to Sock's base to check out what's going on. Severnegus Core is coming now after that second pylon completes. Assimilator coming down, so second gas to me means either robotics facility or Stargate and the Twilight Council is a rarer possibility, but you still may see it. I don't know. Uh, this best of three is being played for the Zotac Cup number 23, and it was played last week, so apologies if you've already seen this series, but uh, you know, the games are pretty good length, and I try to look for games at least with some back and forth. Um, the last couple of games I cast were really, really short games because I didn't have a lot of time to look for a good replay, and I kind of just, you know, blindly picked replays, but this time these are some good games. Trust me. But uh, second barracks coming in for Straylock now. It looks like he is going to be going mass bio instead of 111 or anything like that. So we'll keep an eye on Straylock's upgrades. It looks like concussive shells are already in the works. This is not a 1.1 replay. As I said, this was played last week and was in the 1.0 patch, so you don't see the little handy dandy timers up here on the production tab that they added, um, which is actually a pretty cool feature because I can just glance up there and say, oh, this upgrade's almost done. Oh, this upgrade just started. So good move by Blizzard to change that replay feature. I liked that. But um, what is going on here? Strelok's already moving out with two Marines and two Marauders. A Stargate is being built over in Sock's base. Uh, that probe is probably going to be able to escape. I don't think concussive shells were quite finished yet. Now they are, so that probe cannot return or he will perish. SCV waiting here at the front of Sock's ramp. He is chrono boosting out a sentry to be able to block this uh, contingent coming here. He saw them up at that Zelnaga tower, so he knows they're on their way. Probe scouts down just a little bit, gets absolutely obliterated. Sentry pops out just in time to drop a force field on that ramp. So Sock able to defend his base just a little bit from these first four units, but two more are, are on the way. One more Marine and one more Marauder showing up, so it's going to be six units against only three. Don't like Sock's chances here. Zella is probably not going to be able to finish in time to be really effective, especially since these Marauders already have concussive shells and can kite them for days and Stimpak is being researched as well, so Strelok doing a little bit of a stutter step micro, blowing up that Zealot, not much chance there. He'd probably be able to kill that sentry incredibly fast if he just focused it, but instead he does focus down the Stalker. 
Now Strelok down to only three Marauders. Oh, and that first Void Ray pops out. Forgot about that Stargate, didn't you guys? Yeah, you did. But the Void Ray's out, and he is shooting away at these Marauders. The Marauders probably could have killed off this pylon since their lives are basically forfeit at this point anyway. This Void Ray can hunt them all down. Uh, he did split his forces there to try and run away, but I think Sok might have seen one of them. Yeah, there he gets an eye on one again. So that Void Ray is going to catch him and nuke him as well. One Marauder, chubby little guy, getting away, running back home. But the Void Ray is moving towards Strelok's base, and that I cannot advise because Strelok obviously has two barracks already, one with the reactor, so he's going to have plenty of marines. He's also throwing up a third and a fourth barracks. He is going to be absolutely ready for any number of Void Rays uh, with all the marines that he's able to produce there. Looks like a Phoenix is now coming out. Second Void Ray is out, so two Void Rays in two Phoenixes back out of the gateway portion of Sock's base, he is getting a Twilight Council added on now, so he will be able to move into Psy Storms. He saw a lot of infantry there. Can only predict more infantry. So Strelok's next move is probably going to be Medivax, um, so they can have MMM. So much more devastating than just MM, especially with Stimpak now and these combat shields coming in. So uh, both players actually are expanding. You probably noticed Sock threw up that Nexus a while ago and the Orbital Command uh, was already finished morphing for Strelok before he brought it on over and parked it there. So let's take a look at this Void Ray versus Marine situation here. It looks like we have uh, a lot of Marines. 14 Marines against two Void Rays. Let's see how many live. Oh, they stem up, kill off one Void Ray pretty quickly, and now, wow, he was able to kill one, two, three, four, five, six Marines there with just two Void Rays, and I think that was actually a good move by Sock because he does not have a lot of units at home, and he, I don't think he would be able to repel a Bio Ball that large with the units he has at home, so I think that was a decent trade-off. And now that factory, yeah, it's about 75% done, so Medivac's probably going to be the next move. Uh, he'll want to tack on a reactor, probably, just, just guessing. Um, has he seen much out of Sock's base? He did not even see the Stargate, so he definitely didn't see the Twilight Council, which is now researching Zealot Charge, by the way. So Sock uh, saw, you know, lots of infantry so far on multiple occasions. You know, the first little engagement at so Sock's base, and then again with those Void Rays, he saw nothing but Bio. So he is probably going to be going straight into Psy Storms, as he does not have a robotics facility yet. Um, he is you know, most likely with this Twilight Council going to be getting in Templar Archives next, and soon he'll be on four gates and two mining bases, but Strelok doesn't want that to happen. He wants to drop the hammer as fast as possible, get on over there. Guardian Shield goes up. like to see that, especially against all these ranged units. Two Phoenixes lifting some Marauders. Both Marauders, yes. And these Zealots with charge, no, they do not have charge yet. It's still upgrading, but they are able to kill off a few Marines. Good concave on these Stalkers. All these Marines running away now. Um, the Stim obviously dropped their life. I think he only stemmed one time, possibly a second time. Wasn't quite paying enough attention with all this Phoenix shenanigans going on, but um, it looks like Strelok is just reinforcing constantly. He has a star... Uh, whoa, whoa, whoa. He's got a starport already built, flipped it onto the reactor from the factory. Good move there. Engineering bay coming up now, too, so he can start rolling some upgrades for his MMM off of five barracks and two mining bases. So this game is already moving on into mid-game here. Two Phoenixes lifting up mules. Excellent decision by Sock to go uh, hurt the economy just a little bit of Strelok. If we check out the economy real quick, it looks like income tab... Sock is a bit ahead on minerals, they're even on gas, and they have almost the same harvesters. Sock actually has a bit more harvesters, but uh, Psystorm researching now, where is that Templar Archive? There it is. He must have just finished it and started the Psystorm research right away. Now he's getting a forge so he can start rolling upgrades on his tier 1 units. Hooray! It's going to be upgraded Marines Marauders versus upgraded Zealots, Stalkers, Sentries, Templar. MMM versus Protoss Mix, and here's another gateway, fifth gateway, and a sixth gateway coming in. So he will be able to keep up with six gateways with two mining bases. He may even think about expanding here soon. He's already breaking down the rocks at the high yield and got a pylon planned, but Strelok is showing up now with two medevacs and a ton of bio units. Uh, he stemmed a bit prematurely there, so going to be losing a lot of the benefit the stem would have given him. There goes one force field, kind of in a weird spot if you ask me, but uh, doesn't really deter Strelok. He is stemmed up. He's got a couple of medevacs going at it, healing everything it can. And all these zealots warping in right here are actually a huge help, especially with the zealot charge. Now Sock's army is pretty small, but he does have a Templar. Did he drop a storm? No, he doesn't have Kadarian Amulet yet, so he's going to run him away with just eight health. 
Oh, is this Nexus going to go down? That's so many bio units, I have to imagine, yes, the Nexus does go down. So, Strelok looking in a really good position here, but that Templar with 8 life that ran away came back and got 20 kills with a single storm. Do you see all that blood? Holy crap. That was a money, money, money storm. That may have just prevented him from losing the game, as he does have quite a lot of Zealots and Stalkers now uh, able to defend w against whatever's left. And a Nexus is being built already back uh, at the spot where it was originally destroyed. So 20 kill. Wow, that was crazy. I might even go back later on and check out that storm again. Like, that was just, this whole square here was bloody, bloody Marines and Marauders. Those medevacs could not keep up with, the, with that single storm. He didn't even try to move out of it, he just let it melt him. And another command center being built here by Strelok as these two phoenixes fly around and check out everything there is to see. Uh, they cannot get too close. Oh, he lifts the SCV building the command center and halts its production. I like that move. Uh, let's see how long it takes Strelok before he actually gets another one out. There he is. So, did he build any tech structures when I wasn't looking? I was looking for a ghost academy, but it doesn't look like he built one. He is still cranking out medevacs, and now adding on Hellions into his unit mix, which I think is a bit interesting. So he'll have MMM plus Hellions. Did he get any upgrades? Wait, there is a ghost academy. He's building one. Where is... Oh, it's way over here. Ghost academy. Researching cloak. So he is getting ghosts. He's got five barracks. Does he have a six barracks anywhere? No, he does not. Five barracks. Single factory with no add-on. Cranking out Hellions. Medivac's coming out all the time. Oh, Sox here! Oh my god. Hold on. Pause. Go back. Go back. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to miss it. Watch him run across the minimap in times two speed. And go. Okay, so the Phoenixes pop their heads in first just to get an eye on the army of Strelok. And he's going to come up with how many dark, or High Templar? He's got five High Templar. Going to be able to drop storms all over the place. That is... Those were some very damaging storms. Oh, and another one right in the middle of the group takes out quite a few. Holy crap. Oh, man. One storm after another. I like that because storm damage does not stack. And so now he's making Archons from his empty Templar. He's halted the production on this command center again. He's got another Templar showing up with another decent storm. Uh, these Archons are now up taking care of these ghosts or trying to as they're in the retreat. Strelok retreating back into his base now. The Phoenix is still lifting ghosts wherever they can. This Archon finishes them off. It looks like Sokka is not going to have enough units to really finish off Strelok on this push, but that was a pretty good exchange there for him. He's now chilling uh, at about the same amount of food. So Strelok does defend his base. Big, big army switch um, from the whole, you know, both players trading armies there. Checking units now, it looks like Strelok is still at 44 workers, Sok is at 52, and it looks like Sok threw up another Nexus. And it's up and running already. I didn't even notice he just transfer transferred some probes over there, and here come a few more. So Sok is on three bases before Strelok is. Strelok does have a command center finish. He does not have these rocks broken down, so I'm not sure where he's headed.